so ooh, how is the question going to go? We have, hey Stacy, aside from your personal encounter, which volunteer or service experience had the biggest influence on your decision to become a mental health warrior? Well, yes, my decision to become a mental health warrior was largely informed by my own experience with anxiety and OCD. However, when I was, I would say, eight or nine years old, my family lost my uncle. It was very sudden. He was only 35. And my mother, who is my pillar of strength, who is the backbone of our family, I just saw her completely broken. And that is not something that a child often sees in their parent. But it taught me that grown-ups can be broken too, and grown-ups can cry too, and sometimes I should be my mother's pillar of strength. Sometimes I should be the one to hold her hand and tell her that everything is going to be okay. So that experience growing up taught me the importance of a healthy mind and a healthy heart. So aside from my own anxiety, I would bring it back to my mother, who taught me that you don't always have to be resilient because other people can be resilient for you, and that is the beauty of community. Beautiful answer, of course. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Okay, We're so solid. what's this? Um, your next question from one of your followers is from at Bernice.Ellen. Hi, my Ate, at Stacey Gabrielle. What is your message to young dreamers like me out there? And she added, I miss you and love you, my aunt. That is so sweet. We met during Beanie Beanie, now she's like my little sister. Well, to the young dreamers, my goodness, in life, you will get knocked down, you will get hurt, you will fail, but that's okay. It's all a part of making you the strong, able, empowered person that you were always meant to become. So embrace those moments. And when hard times come, just know that even one step, even just one step in the right direction is a new horizon. When I was in the depths of depression, I told myself, I'm just gonna brush my teeth today. And I brushed my teeth and guess what? That was the step in the right direction. That was for my health. I felt fresher, I felt cleaner. So whether it be big or small things, just know one step, don't look at the bird's eye view. Look at what's directly in front of you and ask yourself, what is the next right thing? And then do just that. Thank you from at Stacey Gabrielle, MUPH 2024. For not you, right? No, no, okay, okay, okay. So unofficial page. Um, what is the lesson that took you the longest to learn? Oh, are you kidding me? It is a lifelong lesson. And that is one of being gentle with yourself. I often, Nicole and I have this conversation all the time, is, you know, now I am more intentional about talking to myself the way I would talk to a friend. Because think about it, you wouldn't tell a friend half of the derogatory, devastating things that you say to yourself. You speak to a friend with kindness, you speak life over a friend, and that is the lesson that I still very much have to learn every day is to be gentle with me, to be gracious with me, because I cannot give what I don't have, and I can only give from the overflow of my heart. So if I give myself compassion, that will put me in the right position to give compassion back to those around me. This one is from at Christian J. Luxon. Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm so happy you are our representative. I've been following you since your BBP reign. What is something in your core whether that be mental health or your strength in communication, that you will use to your advantage in this year's competition? Well, I, I love what he mentioned, mental health. Um, but really, I think the one thing in my core that I will bring is the strength of community. No man is an island, we all need people. And I am very grateful to have incredible people in my corner. And that is the one pillar of my core that I do not take for granted and that I will carry with me onto that stage. I will not be one person. I will be carrying 107 <laughs> Not quite yet, 
but she is my queen, and, and, and obviously that is the goal, is to carry the people who have faith in me, to carry them in my heart, and to make them proud. And last question from your followers, uh, from F. Angelica Adayan, what and who are your biggest inspirations to join this university? Always my grandmother, always my mother. But if we're talking Miss Universes, of course, Pia has been an incredible inspiration of grit, of determination, of resiliency. Catriona has been an incredible, incredible example of giving back to the community and shining a light on our creatives and bringing them with you and wearing them proudly. But I am also reminded of Demi Tebow. We were asked about height earlier, and she is one who has just constantly inspired me. She is so incredible. And even today, I see how active she is in giving back to her community. And that is the essence of a Miss Universe, is yes, to use the crown, yes, as your stepping stone so that the, so that the world sees you and sees you shine, but also once you pass on that crown, to further your legacy yes. and not to waver in your mission to be a beacon of love and be a beacon of hope. So I have incredible women to look up to. I'm very lucky. Well, of course we're going to 